Hi guys, welcome back. So, let me just fix that. So today I am making um, a soap that is eucalyptus and lemon. And um, I'm trying out these new cute little molds I got off Amazon. If they work well and don't bow too bad, I will give you the link in um, the caption. But I'm going to go ahead and get our lye and oils mixed up and I'll bring you back. That's good. And I want to keep this all really liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour off my accent colors. And I really just want like the tiniest little bit of each color like okay i hope this ends up well in a minute okay so the accent colors i'm doing is gonna be or are gonna be uh, maybe a little less than that yellow blue and green okay and i want the blue to kind of be like a teal so I'll probably mix in like a little bit of green in there with it. So there's our pretty colors. So then I'm gonna just pour um, some of the base in there and I'm leaving the base natural. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a toothpick and make sure I can get this skin video. And it's not bowing bad at all. Um, I'm probably going to put um, something next to it to keep it looking good, but it's really not that bad. I'm just gonna pull these around.
Let me see if I can. Let me just clean off the edges. This is all done. I'm not gonna pick it up because I have it like doctored together here. So it stays um, not bowed. So this mold does bow a little bit, but um, I'm probably gonna have my boyfriend help me make a little um, like wood mold that we can like slip it in. My thing is just I hate lining molds. So these are great for if like you have something that's a little bit handy and can help you make like a mold to hold them in or you don't mind bowing, but um, if you don't and you were hoping that these were like the brambleberry molds, they're not. They're going to bow. So, um, but other than that, they're awesome. So, I'll bring you guys back when I cut the soap. And hey, guys. Welcome back. So, we are back to cut um, the soap and this eucalyptus and lemon soap. And um, so, last night when I got home from work, I unmolded it. And it had only been around, um, I think, like 18 hours. And it unmolded pretty well. Um, it does have a couple dents on the bottom. But, um, and like I kind of got the corner, like one of these corners on the top. But um, it did really well for only 18 hours. So this is definitely not like one of those molds that you have to wait several days to unmold it. I think if you waited like a good 24 hours, it would have been fine. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one up. So, it's only three and a half inches long on both sides. So, it's gonna be a little short of four bars, which is fine because I'm more using this as like um, a tester batch. So, so excited to see the inside. Wow, it's really cute and wispy, just like I wanted. Oh, it looks so cute. I love it. Wow. It smells amazing. I'm so happy with it. So pretty. So as I said, it is a little short of um, four bars. This is like a little more than half a bar left. But with like the bulge, like because I said it does um, bow a little bit, it kind of makes up for that. But. Um, I'll probably give this to somebody as like a sample or something. It looks so cute. But yeah, this is like, I'm so happy with how it came out. The lemon comes out really well. I was worried that it was going to be like overtaken by the other scents, but it turned out really good. But this is the corner I'm talking about. It kind of got like bumped up um, when I was trying to unmold it. But I can clean that up and it won't be a problem, so. Oh, but let me show you the top. So this one. See, like, it's like a little mix of all the colors. And you can see that the green is no longer ugly. Looks really cute. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.